Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Cushion Tech here, and today I am here. I am gonna tell tell you guys and uh, tell you guys how to get a tech job without a computer, without a computer science degree, or without an information systems degree, without an electrical engineering degree, without a computer engineering degree, without a cybersecurity degree, or without any cons or without any tech related degree, or even like any college degree in that manner, because like. Many people can don't want to go to college be, to go to com, for computer science because the computer science program is either hard they cannot aff the main reason why is they cannot afford college because college is too expensive college is not worth the money and all that let's see it's it's hard to get into a university for com for computer science jobs jobs and all that uh let's see college is let's see like like college doesn't prepare you for for the workplace really well because like many people want to go to college just to make connections friends get friends get good grades and get the advantage of getting a college degree many people can't afford college degree these days and they're why can't afford it these days because and like there there are so many tech jobs you can even get a tech job easily without a computer science degree and self-taught computer programmers are in my opinion are way better than college graduates because college graduates simply just cheat and copy off code off the web copy off code off the web like github and all that and other and other other source videos, while well self-taught developers understand and learn how to understand how the code works and learn understand how the code works and how it actually do, does and like and like let's see college let's see college let's see doesn't guarantee you a higher lower chance of unemployment. Let's see, let's see, uh, let's see. There's so many years worth of loan debt it's it's not necessary to have a college degree to become like a, a software engineer because i know so many software engineers who 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 are self-taught who self-taught themselves in many variety of ways fyi the reason why i say that co college students cheat though but not let's say self-taught developers is because college students just don't care if they learn or understand the code they simply want to get a hundred percent on the code and they simply want to let's see get all test cases passing they just simply want to get good grades pass the class and and graduate in college in four years while self-taught developers they actually want to learn and they actually try to understand why the code works and they aren't trying to aim for good grades because there's no grade given one way to get a college a tech job or any computer science related job or an it job without a college degree is is self-teach yourself how to code there are so many websites you can, uh, across the internet where you can learn such so as free code camp code academy khan academy leak code try hack me hack the hack the box and very other websites that teach you how to code and other, and learn how to do and learn how to let's see do self-taught or they explain you and like if you read those sources you'll understand how to code how to like actually code properly and like rather than just going to school and just copy code for us to get like a hundred percent on assignments because it won't help you in the workplace and all that let's see another good way is attend a coding boot camp because like an online asynchronous coding boot camp because it'll help you learn how to code easily practice command man line basics watch there are so many videos across youtube and any and across the internet that shows you how to code like the basics of coding like like variables if statements for loops data structures data structures pro programming variables input output input output on and there are so many online courses where you can take to earn certifications, which are way cheaper than going to going to school and get for a college degree.
watch tech related watch like t videos about t or tech related videos or videos about tech or like coding or computer science it doesn't have to be about like c coding in general it could be about it like it consulting it could be about it could be about it consulting it could be about cybersecurity it could be about about every, it could be about various other things related to tech it could be about like it consulting it could be about it management it could be about project management and anything related to tech tech what do watch co let's do videos about tech related topics let's see yeah it doesn't have to be coding on all that it could be like other things other things like testing software and all that like in, do databases databases project U, UX designer business analytics and all that system administrators check out tech there are some go to your local library nearby or even your school library if there is if you live on live on campus or go to like any library nearby because many because live all every library has like some form of tech books watch my tech books related to programming and even like non non-programming things such as cybersecurity, it microsoft excel databases says because business majors ha don't it's better for them to code but they don't have to code though Though they need to code sometimes, but not as much as computer science majors, though. Business majors need to learn Microsoft Excel and the library books. And there are so many library books that offer, like, tech-related books books and all of that. If you live on campus, your campus has a, has a, has a library. You can go to, the, like, you can go to your campus library and, re and check out some tech textbooks and all that to self-teach yourself like how to code and any other tech related topics take text tech related certification exams like computer programming exams cybersecurity exams data analytics exams it support exams to receive tech certification exams there are so many tech certifications you can get and it's, and like the more certifications you have the more it'll help your resume and the higher chance you'll get a job 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 offer like let's see comp tia is a good tech related related certification cisco certified network associates it's a good Comp TIA Security Plus. That's a good, good Microsoft Fundamentals, Amazon Web Services Cloud Practitioner, Certified Ethical Hacker. There are like so many programming certifications you can get. There, there's like Microsoft Azure Administrator, and there are a, a large variety of tech certifications you can get. Enroll in a boot camp because, like, because, like, instead of going to colleges, boot camps are also the best alternative way of going to college and getting a computer science degree. Many boot camps solely focus on, like, only, like, certain topics. Like, there's a, a cybersecurity boot camp. There's a web development boot camp. There, there's a web development boot camp. There's a, let's see, data science boot camp. Data science boot camp. There's a let's see, there's a it 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 can help you get job offers quickly. Let's see, you can also learn so many things. You can make connections off of boot camps, but but they're mostly online, so you cannot let like, let's see interact with them re really personally. Like it helps you. There are so many like boot camps that boot camps offer a variety of things, such as resume writing workshops, job referrals, mentorships, interview skill workshops, job search assistance, and expanding career possibilities. But the only downside for a boot camp, the reason why college is better than a boot camp is because you'll learn a wide variety of variety of different skills. 
you learn there you learn so many skills. Rah boot camps solely focus on one field and one topic like data science or web development, whereas college focuses on a variety of things such as web development, cybersecurity, software engineering, AI, all of them at once. You learn so many different topics in college compared to like compared to data to boot camps. Create so many, you should create so many tech related projects, like so many, there are so many tech related projects you can create, like personal websites, like workout websites, secure file sharing systems, uh, let's see, secure chats, um, let's see, data analytics to cal calculate various data statistics of like, let's see, about like pre politics, like politics to see you should create like a website or an app that checks to see is the country more democratic or more republican and all that using data science all that that's a good project you should create let's see a secure file sharing system which is a good project for cybersecurity. you should create a website where you can like calorie counters like generate to random workouts and all that that's that's good for web development you can create a software that checks for like plagiarism or di distractions, which is good for software engineering. Free freelance with tech, because if you freelance with tech and all that, it'll, let's see, you'll get more connections, more employers will be impressed about you, about the amount of hard work you created, you did while freelancing with tech. There are so many ideas you can do related to freelancing with tech, such as web development, such as tech support, such as software testing, such as data analysis, such as SaaS, software as a service, that's considered free a really good freelancing creating creating SaaS applications that's a good one. but there is like a there's like let's see so a huge demand for like freelancers such as mobile app development is a good demand for for web development man you could there is like content management systems where you can management manage other people's private systems Whenever someone's, let's see, having problems with their tech at home, you can come to someone's house and solve and fix those tech problems and you can make money off of that. You should you should start a side hustle that's related to tech and all that. There are so many side hustles because if you make side hustles related to test tech, you can earn extra money on the side. And on top of that, you can also add that experience to your LinkedIn or your resume work experience. And many job employers will be impressed about like how well prepared you are and the before you enter the tech job tech work put force before you enter the work tech workforce and all that starting side hustles let's see can you can also earn extra money on the side let's see you can also like learn how to learn extra money on the side you can also learn so many valuable skills from doing side hustles side hustles you can do like learn a variety of things from doing side hustles there are ever, let's see, you can do so many things with uh, side hustles on the side. There are so many side hustles you can do, such as web development and any uh, other thing related to computer science or tech.